Hello, welcome to Moodle. I'm Anastasia and in this tutorial we'll discuss TPA teacher practice area. So click please My Courses, select Teacher Practice Area and select your topic. You can see my topic is topic number 13. I have created here a couple of chapters already. So to do this you need to scroll up go to the right and click on turn editing on button you'll see automatically such move buttons so you can move your chapters this way or for example you can even delete or hide or move to the right so i'm going to delete this one yes and I'm going to move it up this way. Well, to add a new activity or source, I need to click on Add an activity or source button. Today we are going to add different activities. Well, on the right, there are lots of different activities. Assignment, attendance, big blue button, BN, chat, checklist, choice, Custom Certificate, Database, eVoting, External Tool, Fair Allocation, Feedback, Forum, and a lot of different games. Book with Questions, Crossword, Cryptics, Hammen, Hidden Picture, Millionaire, Snakes and Ladders, Sudoku, Glossary, Group Self Selection, Hot Questions, Hot Pot, Interactive Content, Journal, Lesson, Media Collection, Mood Typer, Organizer, Podcast, Questionnaire Quiz, Read Aloud, Rearrangement, Scheduler, SCORM Package, Skype, oh, there are so many, Student Folder, Survey, Task Chain, Team Builder, Wiki, Viz IQ Live Class, and Workshop. I'm going to add Journal, so scroll up, click tick here so it enables teachers to obtain students feedback about a specific topic and click add it's loading great well you can add the name of your journal i'm going to discuss work and life balance so i will call it work and life balance journal you can also add some question. For now I don't have any questions. You can add days available, for example, always or select specific days. You can add grade. There are different types, points, scales, none. You can also get the category, no category. If you click common modules, you'll see some abilities uh, Actually, you can show on the course page or hide from students. So for now, I'm going to hide from students. And if you scroll down, you can see activity completion. Here we have three options. Do not indicate activity completion. Students can manually mark the activity as completed. Or they can show activity as complete when condition are met. So I'm going to select the second one. Students can manually mark the activity as completed. You can also actually enable the date. To do this, you need to click Enable and select the day, month and year. So I'm not going to do that. When everything is ready, just click Save and Return to Course or click Save and Display. So I'm going to click Save and Return to Course. Well done. Now you can see my journal, it's ready and it's hidden from the students. In case I want to show them, I need to click edit button and just click show. Okay, and in a while it becomes available. Great. Thank you for watching my video tutorials.